y'all see it y'all see it we literally there uh i need to go get the oil pickup put in because yeah heating it up and trying to put it in there ain't working and i hope uh a machine shop is open today because i got to get this motor in today it don't got to be started today but it got to be in there because that's what i plan on doing but i'm gonna start connecting it all the other little stuff once i actually get there so uh show y'all something real quick y'all the marks like make the marks so this will get your timing you might be able to see it might not be able to see it, but it's marked right there the prime and the paint kind of cover it up let me see if i can go sideways on it yeah all right so try to line them boys up right and you'll be close to where you was if not where you were where you were on this motor you can be minus or plus four but it should be at zero anything out of that tolerance it's gonna set the check engine like for timing but if you mark it and put it like close to where it was should be good if not if check engine like come on you just get time to like and boom you'll figure it out from there but um yeah about to get the upper intake all that put on y'all seen the pictures uh the gasket material the, the, the gasket material and another thing like you they make pieces that go from here to here one side to the other but they don't really work so let's put that uh gasket i made a ga gasket material blah blah blah. put that on there so yeah um what else i wanted to see i think that's about it egr block off about to go in too i already got this right here so gotta make a gasket right there too it came with a gasket but i still be putting extra man because i don't want no problems so i'm cleaning this paint off and then that's going on other than that it's going smooth man just gotta get that oil pickup and then i could put the oil pump shaft and the oil pump on oil pan and the whole bottom's done then we just working on top and drop this boy in what's up y'all hey we at the auto craft on post because the machine shop is closed so what i'm doing is getting the oil pickup to put on the new oil pump um i couldn't do it so i didn't want to mess it up jam it up so literally got the upper intake oil pump oil pan and we good anything else put on but i had to come here because i need to get it done right Solid tank here, clean up it. Yeah. There's no gas, it's too taking right back out. This should take too long. Take my sense out. But yeah. So let's do this, get back. got it together a couple pieces need to go on still uh fan clutch uh motor mounts a bunch of little stuff uh, a few new sensors uh so i had this i had this well let's watch some when i was washing it the top broke off so just went on here replaced that but yeah i made these off the factory ones I need something to hold the wires, but maybe be able to find some spark plug wire holders. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. Um, one thing that I noticed is, like I said, I got the same motor I'm about to use for the blue box. For the fuel pump, when you take this off, open this up, it's like a little metal piece that's supposed to push the fuel pump, tap it, to pump the fuel. This don't got the little piece, so I gotta do some research. But yeah, man, pushing the 300 out right now. I got I got a driver in here. Look, you drive? Where you going? Um, where are we going? Where are we going? Home. I don't think you're going home. Yeah, we have to go and park it, bring the title in here, paint the engine bay, drop the motor in, and then uh. I had to do some console work. So, yeah, knock this out real quick. Hello. 
grow so easy now. Take the cellar for these lights. Got water in it. Hopefully, mess up the LEDs. I don't know how or nothing, but definitely got a uh, puddle and moisture on the lights. So hopefully, they ain't mess that up. Yeah, I know. Uh, the new hood gonna go on today. I put this in my storage. Uh, Daddy, let the owner know, like, man, we're gonna have a lot of parts, so I'm gonna get a U Haul. Put tires on, it, old grill, all that stuff. Yep, she always, I'm sorry, baby, she always say that, that the van and the truck got the same wheels. They send me a little bit, y'all get it. I actually need to wash the van. I can't tell. All right, we got to put this 300 back. Uh, I think I'm gonna put. I always put the gun running right cars in the back. That way, I can get the running cars in the front and just move them, boys. But I did that with the truck, though, because I don't I want plan on pulling this out no time soon. But I got to pull this up soon so I can make those radiator, I mean, fan fan mounts. And then this will be drivable. And I just have a little touch ups on the wires. But I'm going to give y'all a shot of this at night because I'm going to try to make the mounts. And, Get them screwed in with some self-tapping screws tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and move that. just new so I drop it in but it's a lot more surface rust and pitting and more spots than I thought so I had to just hold on let me cut the light on Boom. Okay, y'all can see. Especially this spot, man. I might have to take the bracket off. Yeah, you can get some too. All on the, the brake booster. Might have to take all that off. But might have to replace it, but we'll find out here soon. We'll send it to the owner. Well, you can see that black paint on there. Somebody uh, put some can paint on it. Or, I mean, some 1K or something. Something. Or well, they didn't prime it one or two. Because it come off real easy with a uh, air gun. So take my time cleaning up all that and then prime and paint that uh single stage matte yeah single stage matte black because he's also off drop it in uh and that should be enough to get us to the exhaust shop but yeah we'll just start on the lift the following day mm, i can't find my drill bits so i can get up in there in there but yeah, it's all I got. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna make these brackets for the golden roof for the fans. Unless I can find those brackets, which I still can't. But yeah, the motor man tip top. Why you do that? We gotta diagnose the AC. The fish I have right there. I'm seeing this and yeah. Let's see it come out. 
Yeah, I need to get some funny for this. No, but no, I'm pretty sure I have my right there to send it down and respray. But yeah, man. Make these brackets real quick. I already measured for it. Got those done. That's the bottom. It and these so two on the top. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other little stuff I could do. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I guess that's about it, man. Tired. We tired, boss. Got the film with me. Let me go and get it out of here. 10 o'clock. Jump in this for a second. Yeah, I believe it's just uh, sending you, so I'm gonna check it again. Oh, I'm gonna check the ground and grind that down and make sure. But the radio lights flicker in and out. Um, but yeah, it's like the gauges and the cluster. The lights stay on though on the dash. Y'all really can't tell. Hold on, lights be on, but the gauge is displayed. So I got a little bit more diagnosing to do. I think those lights but I thought these like well I know for sure this, they work off the same ground so I don't really know so I'm gonna check out this in the, the temp working perfectly fine again the, the, the fuel gauge worked earlier right perfectly fine and then it just went back and did that so just some more diagnosing but the HID is looking real good see shop light off Yeah. Also got that box in the trunk so I can make more space for the top of the parts. Put them up on that shelf up there. 